The whole point of our Montana trip was for Shannon to visit her aunt and uncle in Big Sky. So after our quick day trip through Yellowstone, we took the rental car north towards Big Sky. We had several friends and locals suggest we fly into Yellowstone Airport rather than Bozeman since there's no airport close enough to Big Sky. And we lucked out because we got a cheaper rental car from West Yellowstone Airport and they were really accommodating. At uh, Shannon's aunt and uncle's house in Big Sky, we spent several days relaxing, enjoying modern creature comforts, showers for once. <laughs> there were amazing hosts and showed us several hikes in the local farmer's market. Uh, mountain biking, and we also went to a local concert uh, while we were staying there. We hit up several restaurants and breweries and just checked out the sights and sounds of Big Sky, which was really cool. We also linked up with Shannon's sister and brother-in-law while we were there. Her cousin also arrived, so all of us hung out at the same time and just enjoyed catching up, talking, and uh, several hikes together, so that was really nice. We also had the dogs, so they were running around enjoying each other, and we actually saw the only bear we saw on the entire trip from the comfort of the house and we didn't have to uh, deal with that while being in a tent. He just came up to sniff the grill in the back patio and then left as soon as he got there. I love mountain biking and with Big Sky Resort being right there having a lot of mountain biking trails uh, we decided it was a good idea for Shannon's uncle Bill myself and her brother-in-law Will to all jump on the bikes and go ride a couple of laps at the uh, local trails so uh, uncle Bill was our tour guide and showed us some amazing trails and I have basically a two-minute mountain biking GoPro footage collage so here you go Four days in Big Sky, relaxing, hanging out, enjoying hiking, mountain biking, all the things I mentioned. And the next thing on the map was to fly south to Colorado into Steamboat Springs to see Shannon's friends. So I picked a couple of airfields uh, off the airfield guide from the RAF to fly through on the way south. And uh, we started up the next morning. We drove the rental car down there, got to West Yellowstone, packed our stuff, and headed out. So now we're headed southbound towards Colorado on our eventual trip back home to West Virginia.
just no questions, let me ask them. Just like who will see it, who will sorry, do they really love you too? Is it me that I've been friends with when you never see the truth? Is it me that I've been friends with for these days when I just double text back? Now the minute they get back, it was easy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miley Memorial Field in Big Piney, Wyoming made a great first fuel stop. So we stopped and uh, filled up the tanks. They had a great FBO. It was clean, cheap fuel. They had the cross grass runway, which was great for us. However, it seemed a little rough when we landed there. And obviously I was trying to save the tread on the bush wheels, which you can hear the comment. We don't know. It might have been worse. On departure, we elected to save time and just use the paved runway to take off and loop around back southbound towards Colorado. So we're in Wyoming, we're flying down a steamboat. We're just starting to see some of the uh, mountains. And uh, I wanted to drop into this Greater Green River Intergalactic Spaceport. So we're here, there's absolutely nothing here. Uh, it's a gravel runway, it's in pretty terrible condition. It's 5,600 feet long though. And uh, yeah, we just stopped to say hey and check out the sign. The density altitude is like 9,000 feet, so we're probably going to use all of this 5,600 foot runway. I've got my tires pumped up all the way so we can land on some pavement. So we definitely bounced a couple times getting in here, but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get out.
love falling like the autumn leaves She thought that this was make-believe Cause he took a one-way to LAX While she stuck at Harvard with one year left And they couldn't comprehend All the struggles and the troubles they would face 3,000 miles apart It doesn't seem like much But how's the heart when all it cries? We flew directly into Steamboat Bob Adams Field, and our friends picked us up at the airport, took us back to their place. We hung out, had a great evening, we went on a little hike, went downtown, got some delicious food, and just caught up. The next morning, they took us back out to the airport, and we took off bright and early, headed back eastbound. From Steamboat Springs, our plan was to fly all the way to Westfield, Illinois. We made a few fuel stops along the way and then uh, made our way into Westfield and got a pickup at the airport, went back and hung out with friends, spent the evening catching up, had a good time, and then once again got back in the plane early, took off, and flew the final day back home to West Virginia. All right, last day. We are going to head out of here, so we're going to get ready and... Yeah, we got three hours until we're home. To our home. Plus hours. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> 